Thank you, Mr. Vice President. We welcome the number of recommendations of issues of sexual orientation and gender identity that Sarah States made. However, we regret the lack of support from the Liberian government to these recommendations. Mr. Vice President, LGBTI persons in Liberia continue to be subject to different human rights abuses such as harassment, physical attacks, verbal abuse, hate crime, religious intolerance, negative medium expression, and family rejections. There are no deliberate efforts by the government to stop this direct situation or to increase access just to LGBT persons. The penal code criminalized sodomy by same-sex couples with a penalty of up to one year imprisonment. In addition, Liberia's lack of proper, proper legal position to combat hate crimes and access to LBGI persons. I'm sure you go. Mr. Vice President, as a consequence of the lack of legal and politic protection to, ad to address issues of sexual orientation and gender identity, LGBTI persons and other groups face obstacles to, to basic access services, practically health services. Sexual and reproductive rights remain a challenge in Liberia, especially to spread of to spread of information to specific vulnerable groups, such as sexual minorities, drug users, people living with HIV, and sex workers.